before start reading research paper one should use this particular step to speed up the reading process the moment you take the paper if you read full research paper you will waste lot of time so before you start reading full research paper first you read the abstract of any research paper the moment you decide to read research paper first you go to the abstract and you need to read the abstract what are the things you need to learn from abstract let me show you practical example will uh, yeah i have taken already uh, some papers with me for first thing you have taken a paper this is the title of the paper and i have uh, i want to read something about continuous professional development so i have read the title properly first so don't absurdly read because first thing you should understand title properly teachers motivation to participate in continuous professional development relationship with factors at the personal and school level so they are going to study the impact of the factors personal and school level factor in cpd that is continuous professional development so you you know this is the latest article and you can see when they have published all these details are here just you can check it up and see this is 2021 article now this is the abstract so normally the moment you take the abstract first thing you you have to first abstract alone you should read carefully and you should read in detail see i have highlighted first thing teachers motivation to participate in professional learning is significant factor in explaining the effectiveness of continuous professional development program this is the common information uh, you, no need to worry you no need to note anything look at the second one the present study investigated how factors at teachers personal and school levels are related to their motivation to participate in professional learning activities this is what aim of the study so i have added this is the aim and the, and it reflects in the title of the paper also second thing look at there in i highlighted in uh, probably uh, uh, light blue a questionnaire was completed by 472 chinese teachers so they have taken 472 samples uh, the participant for this research study they they are chinese teachers because the study could have done in the uh, what you call chinese region and look at the next one multivariate analysis so this is called multivariate analysis uh, multivariate analysis is the sp what you call yeah kind of statistical tool to prove your what you call uh, uh, finding so through that revealed that several factors at the teacher level in the teacher level what are the factors are influencing teachers prior experience prior experience with the learning activities teaching experience self efficacy conceptions of learning these things affect the cpd and look at the in the school level uh, the school level uh, work and emotional pressure in case uh, some teacher has more work pressure more emotional pressure they will not be they, they may not be able to concentrate well on the cpd and colleague support how much the their colleague are uh, friendly and supportive and principal leadership how the leadership in a particular school they are supporting maybe top leadership how they are supporting and these factors are related to their motivation to participate in professional learning that is continuous professional activity so if you read the full paper you will understand exactly how these each factors are contributing the uh, what you call contribute to uh, professional development and finally these findings are discussed in the context of professional development chinese teacher because it talks about only chinese teachers not any other teacher implications are generated for the teacher education and continuous professional development so that the the findings the implication would be useful for cpd as well as general teacher education also so this is what you need to so here you got to know about the what you call aim second thing you understood the uh, what you call uh, samples and third here findings as well as uh, the statistical tool multivariate analysis is the statistical analysis statistical tool what kind of statistical methodology they have used to analyze you understood and findings you got it finally implication is there so okay, now in case a something is highly relevant to your research as per this particular abstract you can go and read the full paper in case you find these are not really important to you then you can leave the paper so you can decide whether to read a paper or not simply analyzing the abstract so first thing you should only abstract let me give you one more example see this is about uh, making sense of student data in teacher professional development how a student's database about students personal information demographic information may help you help them 
uh, help to uh, professional development this is the pipa and here what they have the first one i uh, have identified look at that why is this research is needed that's what they have given aim when teachers become aware of specific student data directly related to their approach of teaching it could inform them about possible strength weakness and challenges so knowing the student you know it's knowing about the student will be really very essential to you know to for what you call to upgrade your teaching methodology or to change the certain pattern and that is what the aim of this particular paper and what is this is the present condition now look at there i have given present situation and the research gap unfortunately teachers generally have little time and encounter significant problems in the interpretation and use of data for a change so actually it's very less people uh, the teachers are using the data for their what you call actual analysis so in this article that's why we put forward the such problems can be avoided so how to avoid those things we offering uh, by offering teaching practical frames that are aimed at the interpretation and productive use of st student data so they this particular research the, these researchers they have provided a, a teaching frame if you use that frame and probably using how it will tell you how to use the student data and it will help you to what you call to make your uh, teaching very effective and it will definitely help you to develop your you know uh, to contribute to your professional development and next thing participating teachers perform multiple pdca that is plan do check act cycles in which they designed and taught lessons where students data were collected so in this particular component you understand what intervention actual study what this particular researcher actually studied you have understood and what is the otherwise you can call it as intervention we normally whenever you take a experimental research you do the researcher would intervene with certain uh, methodology to ch ch check the effect that's what here he these researchers are doing and to interpret and make use of such student data for a change we provided participants with practical frame that's what already i've told you this is what exactly what intervention tool they have used this, i have clearly mentioned as it, it is intervention and final thing is findings so finally what they have found they be examined to what extent and in what way participants used to these frames how this influenced professional development results showed that participants used to frames to both interpret student data and make changes to their teaching practices towards that required by the reform in a step wise rather independent way so they have used this data and they have changed their teaching practices and finally whether it is independent or or step wise they have used only step wise rather independent all these things are clearly told so now you may understand which is which is essential to you which is not essential so once you certain things you will not be able to understand within the abstract you have to go to the full paper you need to read what kind of see they have mentioned about frame but we may not know what what do they mean by frame so once you read this section frame design and you will be able to understand what do they mean by the frames and how their frames are used so uh, see the, the, the entire things if it is really very useful you think that uh, nice i can go get with this particular paper then after you convinced about this information then you go to the full paper do not spend time reading the entire paper in the beginning itself because it may demotivate you or it may demote what you call just uh, uh, no uh, it will not really allow you to read full paper so better read first abstract and especially in the abstract you should do a very detailed analysis like uh, or how i have done and if you do this particular pattern absolutely you will identify what what are the things need to be need to be learned from an abstract i hope this video will be really useful to you and if you find it useful please share it to your friends and uh, just give a thumbs up and uh, i'll i'll catch you in the next video bye bye